Asian silver medalist this year from Tajikistan, Viktor Rasadin, a 30-year-old. Rasadin's path into this semifinal matchup. His opponent, Albania, looking to go two for two. Sherman Valia. Underway, Valia, Valia Albania, comes, Albania out comes out in the red, red and he comes out comes shooting out in on that leg. leg. And he'll get and the takedown take for two, two as it's confirmed near the edge. The edge. Continuation of action, action out. Referee signaling the one there. And I think we're going to have a discussion. So we did see we did actually Rasadon awarded for that exposure, that exposure early on that initial takedown. On that deep on ways, and then we do see it confirm Valiev gets, gets the two for that out of bounds takedown. A flurry of action flurry from Valiev, actually something we actually haven't seen from him. Seen He's from done him. so well at so well. being an extremely <laughs> disciplined <laughs> defensive wrestler in his competition so far today. Valiev, one of the more exciting finishes, well, more than an hour ago as he beat. Frank Chimizo came down to Criteria. Chimizo of Italy looking for another Olympic bid, but it was a 5-5 five 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 win by Criteria for Valia. I mean, in some ways, in every way, wrestling is about finding a way to win. And Valia has proven that he finds a way to win when it matters most today. He needed that takedown against Frank Chimizo in the quarterfinals and was able to get that when it mattered most. And here he is again in this qualifying round, the semifinals. Winner wins that ticket to Paris for their nation. And he gave Chimizo a little bit of a taste of his own medicine after Frank had rallied the win in the previous two rounds. It was Valiev who had the success late in his match against the talented Italian. Tied at two here after the early flurry. More than halfway through this opening period, Valiev, the 2021 U23 World Gold Medal winner, won a World Silver a couple of years prior in 2019. The junior European and U23 titles as well on the continent. And I get the sense that these athletes know each other very well. They have very similar styles of hand fighting, explosive attacks in on the legs. Expect some really funky finishes from some unique positions because they just have so much experience wrestling in such a variety of positions here. We see such incredible cycling of the hands. They both love working in and out on the left and right. And just imagine how much pressure is being put on the necks of each other for that hand fight that we see here. I often think about it, hand fighting is like the waves of the ocean coming in and out of the beach. There's so much power behind it, but also so much beauty and flow to that action. And it's such a joy to watch these two athletes being so fierce with those hand fights. Great position here for Rassadin in the zone. And in this position, you can actually see Valiev is on his knees, but his eyes are looking up and over. He's so locked into the positioning of Rasadin. And that's a position that Valiev has had so much success defending today because of that, awa that awareness. So all the action in the opening 15, 20 seconds as far as points scored. Two through the opening three minutes. You see Sherman Valiev. Tonight this could be for Albania. They can couple of public qualifiers. They already have one just a few moments ago with Dudayev. And now Valiev in a spot maybe to join his teammate. Two underway, underway in the fight for Paris. Paris. Tied at two, it's criteria two with Valiev with that last point scored. Here we see back this push and pull and flow of action, this hand fight, both of these athletes. 
they are locked in the brace, but you see them constantly moving and angling out. These little subtle movements here, locked in this collar tie position, and finding those snaps, finding those openings. Both so reactive to the pressure and positioning of their opponents. Valiev has proven himself to be a very tactical wrestler. Really great a sense of time and mat awareness. Knows where he is in the zone. Seems very comfortable in the zone here. So patient as well. Waits for his moment. Doesn't try to push the issue. Mm -hmm. Knows what he does well. Stays in his lane and as a result has had a lot of success. And there's quite a bit of intestinal fortitude there that I think is required to stay committed to your game plan and be tough in these moments of deep pressure. Great for this young Albanian wrestler here. So we see a lot of pressure from Rasadin and, and anticipate potentially the referee you know, stepping in and we do see the referee making a verbal warning to Valiev. We could potentially see him put on the activity period here if there's no action soon. No change in the score. We've wrestled a couple of minutes in this second period. So from a tactical perspective for Valiev, he wants to really focus on not stepping backwards, but continue this hand fight. And they're both pressuring forward. And snap and circling from Valiev. So an interesting component here is they typically do need to, st within the first, within the 30 seconds, not able to put the activity one on the activity period. So we've gone past that 30 second mark, so we won't see an activity period. We might see a caution, but there's just been so much small nuance action here. 20 seconds left. You can see the frustration from Rasadan. Can Valiev hang on again and for the second straight time win by criteria? Jumps on that front head. Rossiden still on the hunt. Three seconds, two seconds, and yes, he can. Sherman Valiev just win, baby, for Albania. Amazing. I think he's just as shocked as we are. Sherman Valiev going to Paris for Albania. Jones.